Welcome back to uh, Let's Dig 18, everyone. Uh, I mean, hey guys, I'm Chris. Welcome back to, wait, wait, that's not it. Welcome back, guys, to Diesel and Iron's channel. Even though we are yet again going to play like Chris at Let's Dig, we're gonna play in the woods today. Like, quite literally, the woods. Um, I'm on yet another oddball job with Rick because Rick always manages to get oddball jobs. We have to clear this lot for a guy so that he can turn it into truck parking for, he's got a bunch of, like a fleet of semis and he's gonna use this for additional parking for all of his trucks. So, what we are going to do, you can already see that Rick has started to drop some timber here. We got some more over there, believe it or not. So he's running this, I'm gonna walk you over here to show you this tree shear. He's running a tree shear. This is only about 10 hours worth of work, uh, actual machine time that he was able to drop all this timber. So super impressive attachment. I'm really looking forward to getting some video footage of this thing running. But this is the tree shear. Uh, basically you've got, it almost looks like bolt on cutting edges that work as your, uh, as your blades. And you got two massive cylinders there to power them. And then you got a set of grabbers up top so that you can actually grab the tree and lay it down where you want it. So we're gonna get some footage of that bad boy running. And then of course, there's always our tried and true Fecon head there that we'll get some more footage of. But let's kind of get into what we're doing today. Um, basically this whole area right here, we've got to clear out and level all of that dirt. And the problem that we have on this job is they used to dump a bunch of concrete and shit like 30 years ago back in here. And so you can't really see it here once we get up a little bit. You can see that all through here, there's just big old piles of rubble and concrete and rebar. And that is why I am here, because normally Rick would be able to take on something like this for the most part by himself uh, with the Fecon head and that shear. But unfortunately, you can't Fecon with all this shit on the ground. So that's where I come in. We have a CX-210 being dropped here within the next probably 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, as is always predicted, it's 20 to 30 minutes late already. But we're gonna get in here and we're just gonna start building a path for him to go out on with that shear so that he can get in and get this stand of trees back in this way. And we're ultimately clearing, you can kind of see this big tree right back. Let me see if I can, yeah, this big tree right here we're gonna clear all the way back that way to that tree. And then there's a little creek that kind of follows the outskirts of this property that we're gonna clear back to. So my job is to make him a path so he can get to the trees to shear him off. Uh, and at the same time, probably right about where I'm standing, I'm going to dig a big ass borrow pit. I'm gonna throw any good material out behind me here that we can use that for grading. And then all this concrete, some of the stumps, some of the smaller is gonna go into the borrow pit. And then we've got a dozer coming on Friday and I'll use that to basically cover it all over. And then all of that good material we just used, we're gonna to use to grade the lot out uh, and actually make it to where he can park on it. So that's the overall plan. We should have some good things coming on this whole adventure because we have a big ass tree chipper coming on Thursday that can take a 30 inch log and we'll just chew it up like nobody's business. So that should make some good footage. And as always, there's my phone while I'm trying to make a video. Every time, every time, guys. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this section of the video. And as always, we will catch you guys here in the machine. All right, guys, here we are in the machine. We're gonna start ripping stuff apart here.
my goal right now, I'm just trying to make a good enough path for this machine to get in here. Um, Rick's got plenty of room, but I need a, a path big enough for this machine, so I'm trying to get rid of some of the garbage in here. up into the stored position 
it's really easy to forget that you leave that thumb out and next thing you know you've got it either hitting the boom or the cab when you're sticking in not paying attention so uh, when you're doing a bunch of grading like I am right now you'll see me every once in a while leave that thumb in the open position but for the most part you do want to suck it back in just to uh, one less thing that you've got to worry about and pay attention to
are applying force towards the cap in this circumstance you can see that stump uh, I don't know if you noticed but I did ease off the hydraulics as it started breaking free because what you don't want to do is have the full force of your hydraulics pulling whatever that is towards the cab. That's how you get sprayed in the face. Base, best case scenario, sprayed in the face with dirt. Uh, worst case scenario, you actually have something come into the cab with you and you can injure yourself. So always be careful when you are, when you are putting big forces aimed at the cab. Like right here, that is a stump that I'm not applying a ton of force to it. I'm just easing it open because I don't want that to bust free all of a sudden and hit me in the cab. Now when I leverage my bucket like this, instead of applying the force this way towards the cab, we're going to apply it up. So there's going to be a lot less uh, risk of it coming into the cab with me.
strategize here. I'm gonna get further away from this big pile and see if we can't find a spot where there isn't a bunch of junk buried. I think we're just gonna keep unraveling all of the stuff they've already buried. Is what I think.